How dare you win? No, this is no, this is we are Christian. This is a Christian church. I don't know what I this know is. That. And I don't know all of you are in the wrong to be here. How dare you? You let them get married. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. No, 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 what what is in the Bible? Mama? Are you not read the Bible, my friends? This is disgusting in the Mom. Bible. I oh. no. Look in Leviticus. Look in Leviticus. You are all. I know Leviticus. Okay. You are. Oh, you know nothing. I you. Well, I don't know what well, you me. mean. You are disgusting to me too. Mom, this is not there. your day. You okay. Know, this is not your day. You, you are, sit down. Shut your dirty little mouth with your hey, rainbow you are, hat. You are in the house of the Lord. You cannot That's be talking exactly. like that. Shh. You shut your mouth. Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about something super important. What it means to be transgender. It's a big word, but I promise that it's easy to understand. Ready to learn? The first thing I want you to do is close your eyes. Now think, do you feel like a boy, a girl, or a little bit of both? Do you have your answer? Great! Now I want you to imagine that everyone keeps telling you that you're something else, even though in your heart you know who you are. Wouldn't that make you sad inside? No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I, you know, I was born a guy. I have the assets of a guy. Why would that make me sad? Why would that make me sad? Do you think that schools should be teaching gender ideology to students? Hell no, they should keep it how it was back in the day. Keep it how it was? Yeah. How was it? But whatever God made you to be, that's what you is. What the f what kind of crazy ass shit is this anyway? Whatever you were born to be, that's what you is. You ain't gotta learn it. I ain't no changing. It's Pride Month though. You gotta be inclusive. It's Pride Month. I don't do all that. Teaching gender ideology in school is very, very dangerous because we all know kids are easily influenced. Kids go to school to learn about things that are gonna help them later in life. That's why we learn English, math, science. It's simply going to confuse them. So yes, it's very, very important that we take gender ideology out of schools. Now, if a child wants to later on learn about these things, fair enough, they can. But they need to be at least 18 years old, if you ask me. And that's one of the fundamental issues with the woke left. They don't realize the damage they're doing to a young child's mind. Love or money? Money. Why money? Because in my case, I'm, I'm attracted to men. Um, for me, I'd rather have money than men around me because they're a waste of time. So definitely money. Money will bring me happiness. Men will only, only like bring me uh, stress, so... <laughs> Can anyone explain to me how I have two degrees? I have two degrees. Oh, and a certificate. I'm trying to apply for jobs right now, and um, the thing is, the only person I have responding to me is a man from a tech company saying, hey, you want to answer some customer service problems? I'm looking down at these, and I'm looking at them, and I'm, I'm kind of wondering. I'm like, hmm, what was this for again? Oh, I don't know. There's no need even to have a college degree at all, or even high school. If somebody graduated from a great university, that may be an indication that they will be capable of great things, but it's not necessarily the case. You know, if you look at, uh, say, people like uh, Bill Gates or Larry Ellison, Steve Jobs, these guys didn't graduate from college. But if you had a chance to hire them, of course, that would be a good idea. <laughs> Gotta hand it to Elon Musk, he definitely makes a point there. A lot of these top guys that we always hear about, they didn't even graduate. Not everyone needs a degree. Now clearly some people do, especially if you want to get into certain professions. Like you want to be a lawyer, you're gonna need that law degree, you're gonna have to go to law school. That makes sense to go down that road. There are many ways you can make money today, many ways you can actually better your life without having to actually get a degree. Now for the young kids out there who are struggling to find a job, well, you gotta keep on pushing. You know, we've all been there. Every single person has been there. If you find that you're going to all of these companies and you're sending out your CVs and no one's calling you back, well, first you gotta look within yourself and actually ask, is the problem within me? Do I actually have the skills and the qualifications that make me the perfect candidate? If no, then I guess you need to go back to the drawing board and try and gain those skills, try and gain those qualifications qualifications. If the companies do not want you, then perhaps becoming self-employed is the way to go.
You actually the, cleared the, it up. The LGBTQ is a band. business. But it, it's a weird picture of this pride flag. Let's take a look. It's a psychedelic vomit mess, isn't it? What is it? I yeah. love that it's got an umbrella, like representation. But that's the point with a flag. Like, we can change it. We're not stuck in our ways like straight people. There shouldn't even be a flag. It, but, but why not? Okay I mean, if we didn't invent there the rainbow. Be a flag. God invented it. If it you're an American, really you're all encompassed under the American flag. We're all Americans, whether you're gay, straight, blind, you can see, crippled, it, it doesn't matter. We're all Americans. We don't have to like one another. We don't have to like what each other does, but we should be accepting. And, and that's the way that normal people believe. It's the trans and the LGBTQ, AARP. Wait, you're saying that when you go past like a Ford factory and they've got like a big Ford flag outside, are you not allowed those flags because those flags don't represent so the So you're company? saying, because, you, you actually because, cleared because it up. Jobs. The so LGBTQ is a banned? business. What you're saying is that the LGBTQ LGBTQ is a business. You guys are a, a representing crazy analogy an to try and Officer Tatum makes a lot of sense. The American flag really should represent every American. It doesn't matter what your sexuality is. It doesn't matter where you are on this bloody spectrum, if you want to call it a spectrum. Likewise, here in the UK, you don't need the flag to represent your identity. The British flag represents your identity. You just happen to have a certain sexuality. Regardless of this debate that is constantly raging, humanity comes first. I'm not going to disrespect you or hate you just because of your sexuality or your gender. I'm not going to do that at all. If you're not transgender, then you are cisgender. Why is it always people who aren't biological women correcting others on what to call women? I'm trans and I can't stand the word cis. If trans people want everyone to call them by their preferred pronouns, then why must we enforce the word cis on people who don't want to be called it? It makes no sense, cis. And I'm all for acknowledging the difference between a biological woman and a trans woman. But that's why we're called trans women and they are simply just women. Say it with me, they are women just women. It doesn't take away from trans women by acknowledging this. And guess what? I'm not offended to be called a trans woman because I'm not ashamed to be trans. It doesn't hurt me at all to make that distinction. If we have any respect for women, then the word cis has to go away completely. Because cis and sister is the only way I'll be using it. Right. You gotta hand it to this transgender individual. She actually broke it down. They want the rest of the world to actually see them as how they see themselves. They want the correct labels at all times. You must call me Mr. You must call me Mrs. You must call me female. You must call me male. Transgender women and members of the LBGTQ community love calling women cisgendered. And it's very, very disrespectful because at the end of the day, they are simply naturally born women. Why are you now putting a label on them? You have a problem with people putting a label on you and now you're putting a label on, on women. It makes absolutely no sense. It's one role for them, but an entirely different role for everyone else. If you want respect for all, then you got to show it. It hard questions. LGBTQ. What's up? LGBTQ. Yep, what about it? What is your stance on LGBTQ? This is controversial for me to say, but I'm going to tell you what I think. I believe that transgenderism specifically is a mental health disorder. <laughs> I believe it's a mental health condition. We have to have open conversation in this country, but I don't think the Not compassionate thing to do... What? It's how they fucking feel! They have how they feel. And you know what? I'll tell you a story, and you deserve to hear this. I met two young women in this race about six months ago. They're in their 20s now. Both of them had their breasts cut off. One of them had her uterus removed. They're in their 20s. They regret that decision. One of them wants to have kids. She'll never have kids. The other one will never breastfeed her children. They'll never be the same because they had that done to them when they were teenagers. That is not compassion. That is cruelty. Kids, their minds are still developing. They don't fully understand themselves. They don't fully understand the identity. So you shouldn't be forcing this transgenderism. You should be forcing all of these issues upon a child. You have kids doing a lot of dangerous things to their body and these things are completely irrevocable. Once you get that reassignment surgery, you can't go back in time.